What up you guys, this is day 22 of my 30 day green smoothie challenge. And for today's smoothie, I'm gonna kick it Maui style and show you what I used to do when I lived on Maui. For this smoothie, you're gonna need one young coconut, a bunch of spinach, four dates, two bananas, and depending on the blender you have, maybe a little bit of water. First things first, we're gonna use the water of the young coconut. You can use coconut water that's in a bottle, but I always prefer to do it fresh. I think fresh is always best. So if you're in an area where you can't access these, it's okay, just get an organic coconut water. Otherwise, try and go for the actual coconut. You know that it's young because it generally has a white appearance. So the brown coconuts, the water is gonna be more mature and not as tasty. When they're white, they're young. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the eyes of the coconut, there's three up here, and those are like soft, uh, parts, those are soft areas on the coconut. So you're just gonna poke them carefully with a knife. And you should do at least two because then, oof, there we go. Then the water will actually leak out. And pour it in the blender. Once the coconut is done draining, go ahead and start adding the other ingredients. We have some dates here. You wanna make sure that you take the pit out. Boom. We have a nice handful of spinach. Let's throw that in. Today we're gonna to use two bananas. And last but not least, there's an optional ingredient, which is the coconut meat. Now, like I said in an earlier video, my body doesn't really like it when I combine coconut with anything else, so I've learned to eat it alone. But if you're not as sensitive to it, it's, it's quite tasty to add the coconut meat into this green smoothie. It won't be a pure green smoothie if you do choose to add the meat, but it sure will be delicious. So if you're looking for a dessert green smoothie pudding, go ahead and add the coconut meat. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna show you what I do. I find a nice hard patch of cement, and I go wham! Once I have a nice crack in the coconut, I can actually use my gorilla strength to pop it open. And then what I would do is I'd take a spoon or a knife and carefully just plop pieces of coconut off the shell. It helps to actually cut the coconut sometimes then it's a little bit easier for it to come off. And then I just throw a couple little pieces in the blender to make it nice and creamy. Maybe let's do one more. All right, let's see how this tastes. Here we go. Smells good. Mm. Tastes amazing. Mm. This is like green coconut pudding. All right, you know what to do. By now you should know what to do anyway. Go and make yourself this smoothie. Bye-bye.